Why not, I guess. I didn't want to raise that small. That's too small. I don't even know if we're, yeah, we're in this, actually. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this right. I mean, he's out of position. I think there's a lot of draws in this board that could have hit. Yeah, just let him have it. I don't care if he's bluffing or one. It's just too easy for him to hit that. Let him get one on me. Get rid of that. So now that I've finally got this set up, I can explain what I'm doing. I'm doing real money, which I thought was illegal, but I guess isn't. I didn't know certain sites had actually come back to the U.S., And I've netted it well. This is kind of paltry, but I'm just getting used to this, so I don't want to jump in over my head. So, hey, what the hell? Okay, everything's on the screen, so you can just put this over here, because I don't really care. Actually, let me tilt this up a little bit. That's better. It's more centered. There's anything but that on that. The post one has a shit hand, and I'm not under the gun, so I don't think I can really do anything with that. That's two. Okay, we don't know anything about this guy, so I can't see anything about what he's got. That big blind time. That's some mediocre hand. Well, that's not awful. I don't hate Jack 10. I just think that in the big blind. There's not really a whole lot I can do with it. And okay, so I'm going to tell you about uh, these. I should probably write a note about this. Uh... Well, I think we might have to just bet this. I mean, we do have top pair.
There's so many draws, we might just have to... I don't know. I mean, should we barrel again or should we check? Let me just check call. Well, three of a kind's a good hand. I'm going to bet fairly small because this is... Ten's fine. It's probably best. Yeah, okay. I mean, if it was Ace Jack, I probably would have barreled the turn, but it's just, I don't know. I was, uh, I think I probably should have barreled the turn anyways, because there were just so many draws in that board. I think I sold myself short by not barreling the turn, but it worked out for me. I did give, I did give them a free card if they were on a draw, but I don't know. I, I always like to be 100% sure that my hand is the best hand. Okay, I, I probably could have bet term, but whatever. Oh, we got a three bet from this guy. I don't like the bet sizing. I think that min three bets are pointless. Oh, shoot. Four bet. I, yeah, this guy doesn't really fuck around too much. Whenever he bets, you might want to respect it. He's been pretty dang tight. I think it's going to go bet fold or bet check raise. Yep, that check raise. I knew it would do something like that. Oh, that's a cooler. I knew that. I knew as soon as this guy raised. That's, yeah, okay. I mean, that's not really his fault. I can understand why he kind of lost some under. A7 on the button. I'm going to have to open this. You got a seven. I think it might be okay to barrel again. Because it's not likely someone's going to believe us. And that eh, ten's fine. That works. See, I, I don't... It was just... Yeah, I mean, you have to open the button in that spot. A7, it's folded around to you. King-10, I might open... Well, I don't know. It depends on how this plays out. I did just open a hand, but... If action folds to me, this is an okay spot. Okay, that makes my decision for me. Ace deuce. Again, if action folds, I will open probably. Because I want to start abusing the tight image. These people have been pretty dang respectful of my raises here. Yeah, I think this is an open. Okay, we get called on the button. They put the dang chips on top of the button. I didn't know they did that. I don't know. The problem is we're out of position against this guy, so... Let me just check and see what he does. Two... I guess float and see if we can steal.
Yeah, I mean, with you need to bet more if you're gonna try to steal from me, dude. That's just a little bit too small. That's a nice hand. I don't care what the action will. I'm gonna open on maybe seven, just a little bit larger. Because I kind of want to be played with here. I've been opening a lot, and... Okay, we get folded. That kind of sucks, but... It's not... At least we win. Alright, I think I'm just going to fold this one. I've been opening a shit ton. I don't think I really want... I want to just, like, fold a little bit. He bet me with ace two. Okay, he probably was bluffing. Could he should have bet bigger? That's the thing. He probably could have stolen it if he'd have bet bigger. But it was just so small. It's like, okay, really, you're gonna bet that small? I mean, and even if he's value betting, you know, the information is worth the price to pay just to see what the hell he's doing this with. So we're up to 318, which is not a bad spot. Jack 3, I'm just going to get rid of that. Now my cute little kitty cat princess with me. She's a cute little kitty cat. Aww. I like her. She's a cool cat. She just spends time with me, which I, I like. Okay. Little Fish has been a min race. He probably doesn't have something super huge, but... Okay, raises to eight. I don't know if he has a king. Check call. At this point, he either has a king or he's bluffing or maybe... He might actually have a king. If he had a hand like ace-king, this would make total sense. I think he does have ace-king. I think they're going to have to fold here because I don't see how... I mean, either he's running a really good bluff or he's got like ace-king. I see I told you he had a king. A seven, I'm just gonna get rid of that. That's that's an okay hand, but under the gun I don't like raising there. Just too too much potential for someone later on in the rotation to wake up with a hand. And then what do you do? Like, you know, that you raise and this guy calls you, you're out of position against him. How do you win the pot there, even if you do have the best hand? I mean, like, let's just say that he calls with uh, pocket fives, and you know, you you flop a middle pair like you flop a seven. Well, guess what? I mean, you're in trouble. He's betting again. I don't know. Does he have the quads? I might say, he's got at least a 10, I think. Question is, if love in the game is a big pair, do they want to raise or they just want to call and play it safe? Okay, yeah, I mean, this person doesn't seem to really get, when they barrel, they seem to really just, they know how to play. I mean, well, no, they, no, they, they just seem like they have it, the goods when they barrel a lot of the time, so... I mean, I would love to check this back. It this isn't a this is an okay spot. I mean, King Jack's not a great hand, but if it's cheap, I'll see the flop with it. And we don't have any part of this, and we're out of position, so I don't feel like bluffing. You know, if someone has a three, good luck getting them off this. If they have a five, it'd be difficult because I probably have to bet the flop and give up on the turn just because. You know, I don't know. Am I am I going to be able to get him to fold? You know, there's a lot of hand, yeah, because you know they could probably call on like a heart draw or two four or four six. Not that they should be having those hands, but you never know. Some players call with weird stuff. I call with weird stuff sometimes, even though I shouldn't. 
So I mean, right now I've built my stack by a buck sixteen, which I think is fine. I see if we'd have tried to bluff at that, that would have been pretty bad. Nice hand, by the way. Little fish just calls. I might complete with king eight. I don't know. If someone raises a fold, though. Making sure this thing didn't do darkness effects on us. Okay, we got a raise. We're out of position. And this guy doesn't seem to really do too much. Okay. Can you help me load the shed just once? About five minutes? Yes. Okay. Come down in five minutes. Why is he saying STFU? Can he hear me? Okay, so Shaq's back. Probably has like pocket queens or something. Queen four. I don't know. Okay, we have a raise from this guy. I, I, these guys seem pretty tight, so I tend to respect their raises, and I don't think that we're going to... I mean, I could float here, maybe, just try to see if I could steal it from him. I am in position, so I do have an excuse to call, too, but... Okay, I don't think he has anything, although that ace... But if it was checked again, I would definitely bet here, just for value's sake, probably. See if he bets again. He probably he probably has some sort of ASX type hand. A check raise. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I guess it's possible. I don't know. And he donks in. I don't think he has a seven, but it could be wrong. Okay, so that may you know what that actually works. Queen ten. Okay, shit. Well, this is a sucker hand, honestly. Uh, you know, it's a suited one gap, but it's a pretty weak one. The problem is it's dominated by so much shit. Any better 10, any better queen. <clears throat> oh, shit, this is not good. Yeah, I'm not too pissed off at getting out of this. I think this person has to call. That works. I can understand why they didn't believe him, but... I mean, the thing is, the last time that they did do that, they did have a hand. Like, you know, they just checked it. They checked it when they missed, and then... I think they got a couple lone loves over here. So, ace-jack from middle position. Let's... I am think I'll open here. This might be a little bit loose, but it's not, like... I think that's actually too small of a raise. With that many people in the pot, I think like seven's more appropriate. I think yeah, I... really. Well, he hasn't seemed to get out of line. I'm gonna have to just give this up. This looks too weak. I don't know if he's getting out of line. He is out of position, but the problem is if we do have if he were behind, I don't see us being able to barrel our way out of this. You know, if he has like pocket aces or pocket kings, how the hell are you gonna bluff him off the hand? And that's what you're gonna need to do to win. Plus, I mean, it's not like we've done anything for a long time, so there's no reason for him to think, hey, this guy's getting out of line here, so I'm gonna light three bet him so. 
I, he probably was doing that for value, and I don't think I can pay him off. Plus, I mean, he didn't do that at all when we had the series of hands a little bit a while ago that we were raising like every single hand, so I don't see any reason for him to do that light. It's probably, plus he's out of position too. I mean, what a, he's a good player. He should know better than, he probably would know better than to do this out of position with like seven deuce offsuit because that's not a very, very good play. If the three bet doesn't work, you're in a bad spot. I mean, I wish I could have seen what he had, but I think that I think that was a good fold. I don't see how we're really ahead of much of his three betting range, unless it's a complete bluff. If it's a bluff, we might be ahead, but other than that, I think we're way behind. And I think that's a mistake a lot of people make is they overcall those three bets. At least there, I had I would have had some sort of excuse. I was in position. I could have maybe outplayed him, but. I don't know. It's just an iffy spot. You're gonna call, and it's not like it was a min three bet. It was like a three x three bet. I think that we just have to give it up and look for a better spot. Get out of here. Princess. Well, I know what I'll do with this if I get the option. <sighs> nice. Well, I don't want to run a bluff here. That's eight. Well, we haven't seen a whole lot out of you. I mean, you could have a pocket pair. You could have ace high. I don't want to play the guessing game with this. Tell you what, if I get, I might limp with this if I get the opportunity. I'll complete the small blind because this isn't. All right, I'll. I have an open ender. If I get called, it's not end of the world. I don't know why people have to do that. He probably, I don't know if he has it or what. Is that up to a little more than like 318? I haven't won anything in a little while.
I like that. That's a good size raise. I don't have enough more for. That's not what I want. Hey, come on. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Oh, this is interesting. That looks like a bluff to me, honestly, but I can't tell. And it's a lot of money to call, hoping to see. And he calls. And... Yeah, I mean, I probably would have folded just to err on the side of safety. Okay, come on. Get this thing back up here. Yes, thank you. I made a buckle roll. I mean, I, this guy probably had some sort of draw on that one handy re-raise me, or he could have had two pair. I don't know. Both of those options make sense. I don't know. You know, I'm just going to give this up. I think this is... Okay. Five. I don't know what makes sense here. Maybe a jack, or he could have double checked the queen. Maybe he's have to go. I don't know. I want to see how well it. Well, I made a buck, so it's not the. And considering I bought in for two dollars, fifty percent increase in your stacks never something to complain about. So. Oh wait, no, I, other way, other way. That explains why it didn't work. So I bought in for 50 bucks, and after winning a f $3 in a free roll that I got automatically enrolled in, I am now 75 cents in the, in the plus. No complaints there. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that would be awesome if that actually was real. And I guess just keep on grinding. I'll see you guys later, and hopefully we can actually win some money. I, I know I can do it. I definitely think I adapted pretty well to that. I mean, it's hard to get used to people who are to people who actually know how to hit the fold button. You know, what, what the problem is is that these people in these play money games like to play this stupid flotation game. Where they call your raise and they float you with any two and then they, you know, it's like, seriously, dude, just fold. If you don't have anything, you should fold. You know, if you have a pair, then I guess it's somewhat justifiable, but if you have, like, shit cards, you shouldn't call a raise anyways, unless you really have a good read on your opponent or you're in position. But... <laughs> Now 
Yeah, I just I just don't know why people play like that. And that's why it's so easy to stack.